Hello everyone, and welcome back to To The Moon. Here we go. Beta blockers. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Whoa! Something's happening! Quick, send it again! What's going on? Uh-oh! Doctor, something's wrong! What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under the state, all of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny... Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alice there. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Doctor? I think we're okay. For now. <laughs> and guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party you... Oh! Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Here goes nothing. I'm gonna reset the memory. There we go. There we go. We made it. Wow. I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Or what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Did you guys notice what it was? What was strange? Leave a comment down below if you figured it out before this part. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take, you've got to take them there one day. Hmm. Sheesh, the time overlap is getting out of hand. Look at how many of them there are. It's like a zoo. Mm hmm.
Roadkill. All thanks to this little fellow's sacrifice. I hope. Ha! It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. Hmm. Oh, jeez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean... This place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit! Duh! We need to go back now! But wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! So that one wasn't censored, apparently. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. <coughs> Actually, he didn't. The, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase his memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. Cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? <coughs> I don't like it here. Let's move on. Not received, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Whoop, that was Watson. Odd, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. <coughs> and even further back. <coughs> Dude, you should totally give the series a try. 
I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I'm already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to find mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rawr, 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 rawr. And then they pick up lasers. <coughs> Sorry, wow, that actually hurt my throat. That's all. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Stop that. He. At least the pew pews didn't hurt. <laughs> that rah 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 that like that that graveled my like throat and it hurt. <coughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and my really big houses. How would you get rich? Uh, how would you get rich if you gave away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. <coughs> what, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. Oh, my God. Shut up. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing? And, okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just give me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on. <coughs> Received note, Animorphs. Oh, geez. Look up here. Joey's favorite childhood books. Oh, I see. Yeah, it did up. It did update, I think. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. Oh my god, there's too much. No, there's two Animorphs. Johnny's favorite childhood books. Joey's favorite childhood books. Johnny's twin brother, deceased since childhood. Pretty cool guy. Somewhere along the lines that changed. Not enough memory links established. What? Okay. That was odd. Because <laughs> he gave me all five of the memory links, so it was really odd that it's like, not enough memory links. I was like, what the? What? Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, oh, you ruined it. Hey, I can actually move at a decent speed. Oh, hey, it's Johnny and Joey. I want this stupid... I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. It's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won at fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. He just went first. He, it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny. 
Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. Oh, I think that was her. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Hey, is that whack-a-mole? Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole. You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. That's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh... <coughs> sure. Uh, use the mouse. Oh, hang on. I'm whack-a-moling. Yeah, I can't imagine doing this without the mouse. So I'd like to know how they programmed something like this into RPG Maker. Can I get the high score? Time's up. Let's see now. Out of 45 total targets appearances, you struck 45 times and made 39 successful hits. That's an 86% hit rate. It's your new record. <coughs> cool, we got a memory link. Very cool. Ah yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one, a doctor. Oh my. Come on, I'm getting both of your treats. Hey, hey, where's my tip? Wrecked. There's a slide over here. Can't interact with it because all the kids are here. Of course, you'll notice that, uh, you know, none of them, none of these people exist. Look and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know. Don't care. Oh, hey, that was actually important. How about that? That said, we are coming up to the end of this episode. And knowing what is ahead, um, I think I might want to end this episode a little early. Um, you know, not progress too much farther, you know? Because, uh, there, there's some interesting stuff coming up pretty soon. And it probably wouldn't hurt to, uh, to leave you guys in some suspense over what is going on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Aww. I'm done now. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. Received note. Pickled olives. Let me, uh... Oh, I pla oh, okay. That was... I had switched to the items on accident somehow. Joey's favorite. Hmm. Animorphs was Johnny's favorite, but now it's Joey's. Pickled olives were Joey's favorite. Or Johnny's favorite. But yet, he does not like them. Curiouser and curiouser. Indeed. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, but you know what? Whoops. This is a good spot to end the episode off at before I go interacting with uh, Johnny over here. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. 
Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And with that, I will see you guys next time. See you later.